Some water's planning to undertake a two metre raise on Burdekin Falls Dam, Queensland's largest dam, sitting astride the mighty Burdekin River. Some water's uh, focus is ensuring also that we are delivering a safe asset for the long term. So as we go about a raise, we also have the opportunity to improve the characteristics of the dam to cater for things such as uh, major flood events as a result of climate change going forward. The raise is, uh, is a two metre raise which will give about 150,000 megalitres of additional yield. That becomes available then for water security for this region to support increases in industry utilisation, increase for agricultural utilisation and support for urban water security uh, within the region itself. What we're doing at the moment is we're undertaking detailed investigation works in and around the dam structure itself. This includes geotechnical investigation, uh, sourcing of materials for, uh, for quarrying so that we can utilise materials as close as we can to the structure itself to reduce costs of transportation. Also we're doing cultural heritage surveys in conjunction with First Nations uh, groups in and around the, uh, the area itself, working with our uh, communities and with our stakeholders and adjacent landholders so that we're uh, all working together to understand how we can deliver this project successfully. We're in the final phases of an EIS. Uh, that'll allow us to go forward and provide the community an opportunity to provide comment in relation to the proposal that we have for um, Burdick and Falls Dam. We're also doing some investigative works now through, uh, through a contract recently let with ACOM here in Townsville to undertake investigations in the road network. So we can, uh, if we need to improve and upgrade the road network, we can. And that allows us to move people and materials safely in and out of the dam site but also for other road users uh, to, uh, to be safer on that, uh, that road system as well. It's 120 k's from the Flinders uh, Highway turnoff down to the dam site. Uh, that's just an example of the distances we're talking about and the considerations we need to have as we move people, machinery and materials safely in and out of this project area.